30 years ago, the data was that 40% of your day is going to be a surprise. Our days are constantly under attack by competing priorities, different emails, text messages, people walking in on you in the office. And the problem is you, you can't get any more time. There is no more time. When they think about getting things done is they get flustered. Most people only want to make a to-do list of the most important things and not realizing. The system itself, again, very simple. This is Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by New York Times best-selling author David Allen. Golden nugget number one says our brains are great at thinking, but terrible at remembering things. As a matter of fact, the new cognitive science research has basically validated that the number of things you can keep just in your head is four. That's it. So your brain did not evolve to remember, remind, prioritize, or understand between more than about four things. The whole idea there is build the external brain. We need to understand one thing here, which leads us to golden nugget number two. In order to implement the GTD system, you need pen and paper. You need capture tools, you need some sort of a cockpit, your command center, and then you're going to need a list management system. You need the right workplace, the right tools, and the right filing system in order to be able to populate your external brain. Which leads us to golden nugget number three and the first of the five steps. Capture all your tasks, all your ideas, reminders, and more using the collection tools. Most people make the mistake of thinking, in order to capture it, I have to organize it. No, you don't. Just write it down. And capture is very different than organizing. They think they need to prioritize or organize before they do anything external. Wrong. Not at all. So step two now, which is yep. golden nugget number four, clarify. Well, the clarify stage are, what's the thinking I need to apply and the decisions I need to make about what the nature of this email is, the nature of these meeting notes, the nature of this note I jotted down last night that I can barely even read, but it might have been important. There are really only six different kinds of things that these things mean to you. The first thing is, is it an actionable item? And there are three types of things you don't. One is just trash. Now that I've seen it, I don't need it. And then you have stuff that I just need to keep. There's no action on it. And then you have stuff that you might want to move on, but not right now. And if it is actionable, what does action look like and where does it happen? What's the neck you would need to take to get closure or clarity or finality on whatever this thing is? And then one other thing you need to answer is, will one action finish whatever this commitment is? If you've made that decision, then that will get this stuff off your mind. It'll also, that's how you empty your investment. Not about time. You can't get any more time. There is no more time. It's true. What you need is a room in your psyche. Golden nugget number five, organize. Once you decide what this thing actually is, well, you want to park those where you see them at the right time and place, creating reminders by context, too. I may not go do them all, but at least I'm not missing any. That's basically it. So it's no big mystery. You don't need a real complex system. You do need a system that will let you put things in the appropriate category. The next golden nugget there, which is also step four, which is reflect, reviewing your system frequently. If you have a good, compact, and intact external brain system, then reviewing that regularly is the one that's going to sort of hardwire your intuitive intelligence to be making good judgment calls, you know, moment to moment. 30 years ago, the data was that 40% of your day is going to be a surprise. So as long as you're willing to be that flexible, the whole idea is to have a total life to-do list available all the time because I've done my thinking, I've done my, my decision making, and I have the results in an external brain. Then when I have discretionary time, then I'll pull out that system and take a look at my options. Most managers, supervisors, executives, a lot of the source of their stress is they haven't kept track of the deliverables they've asked other people to produce. Acknowledge that this is important stuff. And my brain can't do it, guys. I, you know, I need all the help I can get. Gotcha. I'm writing it down. And then everybody starts to get on the same bandwagon. And boy, when everybody around you starts doing this, you move way up the food chain. So now we get into golden nugget number seven, which wraps up the five stages of the GTD system. Engage. Getting things done is not so much about getting things done. It's about being appropriately engaged with your life and your work so that you're totally present with whatever you're doing. Because that's the end result of anything, any of all this self-management stuff. Get to that place where you're clear enough about what you're doing. What can you do where you are? How much time do you have? And then how much energy do you have? Context, time, and energy are the three initial sort of tactical uh, limitations you have about your choices. The threefold nature of work, doing defined work, doing work that's undefined and unplanned as it comes at you, or defining your work. All of those factors come in, and then you have all the six horizons of commitments you've got. Why are you on the planet? Mm. What's your vision of wild success five years from now? Mm. So it's pretty, most people have much more complex life than they really mm. realize. But that's the whole idea is to come from a place of freedom and trust in terms of your activity. Golden nugget number eight, we talk about use natural planning to easily organize your next project plan. Yeah, how you got dressed, how you got out the door. We all do this. You have an intention, you have some purpose, and then you have some sort of vision. Then you brainstorm, then you organize, you organize those thoughts.
And then once you get organized, you say, well, wait a minute, I need to start moving on this. Great. What's the next action on any moving part here? Is how we do everything, interestingly. All right, my friends, that's a wrap for this week. So thank you so much for tuning in again. Don't forget, connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you want updates from me throughout the week to see what I'm doing.